Okay, we have one person saying I'm back, therefore I'm back. Alright, let's do this. Um, you didn't miss much. I didn't die or anything, so we're good. Also, fake block puzzle is fake. Because the real solution is this key. Okay, hopefully we can get through a little bit without it freezing. I'm going to have to keep looking back at my screen. I've also made it so I should be able to get back faster when it does freeze on me. But the good news is, over time, each time I stream, the software will get better because it will be like later and later builds. Because they build it like freaking, like every few days they release a new build right now. Anyway, you want to push this switch now. Here is the catch. The catch, the sneaky little trick they pull off on you is that if you go down here you're like hey I can continue no don't it's a trap it's a dirty trap what you're supposed to do is hit this again and then you can go this way this time and go back this way that shortcut is completely a trap hundred percent no two ways about it looking at my screen more often going to make me play worse but it's all for the best Ow. <laughs> well, that was dumb of me. I still have three hearts. I should be good to get to the one thing. Come on. Oh, yeah, you're a heart, too. Yeah, I should be good. Four hearts. I have over half health. And this hammer technique is... Okay, that does not work. Noted. Alright, this is going to probably hurt... No, I'm good. We want to break that. And now this room. Alright, this... First of all, this guy. Might as well kill him. He might have something for me. And upstairs we go. Cracking my knuckles along the way. We're going to get hit. But basically we want to get down here. Alright, we made it. Now... Here's the thing. Yeah, if you leave it on blue and take that shortcut, you can't get in here. And in here is the very important item we're after. The boss key. Big key. Big key. Big key. Definitely big key. Which I believe is its name in possibly more of the games. Anyway, let's just kind of kill that guy and charge down here right on up immediately and go on back. I like how you only that red thing only his first block of fire actually hurts you. The rest are just for show. Anyway, once we get back here, all will be well with the world. Once we get back here and go up this, all will be well with the world. Because boing. This is the hook shot. I really like the hook shot. Because we can go over here, and we can get a heart. But yeah, you're going to see lots of me using this thing. It's the big key in, um, Twilight Princess Wind Waker, um, this game, which introduced the big key. It's actually in a fair bit of games, and that is its original name. I generally tend to call it the big key, though, actually. In general, anyway, these guys, their weakness is the hook shot. I like the hook shot. Anyway, here what you want to do is take this and push it onto this switch. 
But you don't go into that door. You go over here. And you go into this door. Then you kill that guy. You get annoyed trying to, um, yeah, and then that happens, and you regret trying to sword him. Yeah, this is the only game where it actually, like, where the big key actually, like, I like the way they did the big key in this game so much more, with it opening chests, and the the big locked doors are not the block, the boss door. It, it makes it more interesting, and then the ultimate goal in the dungeon, like, the ultimate thing you get is the dungeon item, and even then you're not quite done, as you can see. Also, as you can see, I like the, um, I like the hook shot a lot. <laughs> but yeah, I expect to see a fair amount of hook shot abuse in this run, considering it is my, um, favorite item in the game, and it is very helpful in this run. And thankfully, it's absolutely required. Although only for this dungeon. Because I will show off dash jumping later on. I actually need to go this way. Hooray! Okay, I made it. Now's the part where we sit here and wait. Okay, we're good. I could go in there, but I don't need to because I'm fully restocked. That's basically just a restock room, by the way. Anyway, boss time. Alright. This guy, not that bad. Like, honestly, I'd consider him one of the easier bosses in the game. Just saying. Ow, I got hit by him. Yeah, it's generally not advised to grab them from below because they can sometimes hit you. Are you going to stop moving? Yes, you are. And I'm going to... There we go. You only have two left. This is going well. You have one guy left. Alright, second form. One shot, you got hit it, now you're going to get hit again, and, and a third time, and you are going to die, because you're an easy boss. Yeah, there we go. Stretch. So yeah, that dungeon went well. It's not a bad dungeon. Oh, well, it can be, but it wasn't. Oh boy, I just realized what the next boss is. Oh boy. Just looking, um, it is going. Yes, 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 it is. Okay. Yay, zero deaths on that boss. Woo! -hoo! That was, um, by the way. The easiest Dark World boss easily. I'm actually slightly disappointed that I got hit by him. Because after the, the next boss is one where... Is the first... Like, the next two bosses are the last two before I, like, start really hurting on, like, the power front. Because, well, you'll see, you'll see. Anyway, we're gonna go out here and um, just take a hit, because why not? I mean, I'm still, like, I, I still technically died during that dungeon phase of the game, because I, um, died in between dungeons somehow. Um, I could go warp to the light world and use that method to get to the third dungeon, but I'm gonna actually get there without going to the light world just to show off how that would be done cuz you can I mean obviously you have to go back and forth between the worlds 
what, significantly more in this game than you do in like Ocarina of Time between like adulthood and childhood actually. Like, it's just... I think they could have done more with that in that game, but uh, well... I, I guess they used it in this game and they didn't have, uh, and that wasn't like necessarily supposed to be as like major of a part of the game. I don't know. I, I might be wrong about this. I haven't actually tried, I, if I ever LP the game I am going to do my best to make sure I do this, but to like, do that entire game only going back to the past a single time. Because I think it's possible. Not 100% sure. Anyway. I just totally tried to use my shield. Surprisingly, it did not work. Anyway. Still going good. Yeah, there's some fairies there. They can be helpful. Anyway, into my favorite music in the game. Ow! Oh, right, this place. These guys. And I have no, f no, um, thing yet. Because I haven't needed it yet. Also, um... This part's going to be fun, because that guy! Yes, they are. They are very... I wouldn't touch your nothing count. Well, actually, that, that was what I called it for cows. But the hand grabby count, one. How many times do you think that thing's gonna get me? Okay, let's do this. Well, nope. Nope. There we go. I like how you could see him falling from the other room, because that makes perfect sense. Um, let's just get this chest before I die. It is! It really is! Also, I'm a bunny. You know what? No, I have my pride. I'm not going to let you get me. Okay, well, I'm probably going to die. And if I'm going to die, I'd rather die in the dungeon. But... Let's go on in. Okay. Let's see if I can pull this off. Um... There we go. Now I can safely get all these pots. There we go, I feel better. Anyway, here. Now. Fun fact about this room, right? Okay, how do you get past this pit, right? Well, the obvious solution is to go like this. Now you can easily get past it, right? Because it's like, okay, the pit's gone. Well... In truth of fact, um, I didn't plan this out at all. There we go, taking an unnecessary hit. You can actually just kind of walk across here. And now you can easily get these pots and find out there's absolutely nothing of value in them. But blowing this opened, we released the mold orms. Well, mini mold orms. 
And we can get this. The Fire Rod. Which I'm not going to use yet because I'm totally just going to do this. I'm very tempted to just kill myself to heal. But I'm not going to. And I'm probably going to die. And then respawn at the Pyramid of Power. Which is going to be very convenient. They are, aren't they? Um, let's be very careful. Because I really don't want to die outside of the dungeon. Because then I would warp back to the Pyramid of Power, which would be very inconvenient. Okay, okay. There is a way to get to that locked door with this key. I'm not going to. Oh boy. Okay, I made it to the main dungeon without dying. This is good. Because right here, what you actually have to do is use the fire rod on this. Alright. This part. This is where I attempt to heal myself. And yeah, there's another key you can get in here. But I'm basically skipping a step by doing that. Good job, me! I should pull out my hookshot, actually. Actually, that's a slightly terrible idea, but... It'll work. Now, if you play your cards right, you can actually sequence break this room by, like, walking... By, like, corner walking. I'm obviously not doing that. But, um... Hmm, do I heal myself fully before the boss? Probably a good idea. Which in basically involves, um... Yeah, I'm gonna um, be doing some healing. Oh yeah, the Angry Deku Trees. Those things actually can attack you in certain situations. It's pretty great. That does respawn the um, pot contest doing that. Yes, it does. Okay, good. Because basically what I'm going to do for the next little bit is this room over and over again. Because there's really no good way that I'm aware of to heal around here. There we go. And yeah, I'm just going to um, keep doing this until I've gotten a decent amount of health back. Because I'm relatively close to the boss. And I don't want to go in oh so damaged. Spoiler alert, this boss is hard. <laughs> 